Child of the Owl, Chapter 6, page 181. We can't stand out here all the time. I looked around and saw a little alley just behind us. Let's wait in there. In there? Booger glanced at her new coat. You can't be fashionable in this business. I suppose, Booger said doubtfully, following me in. Of course, Mr. J was already there. He stood with his hands clasped behind his back, studying the brick wall before him and trying his best to look at ease among the garbage cans. Good afternoon, Mr. J, I said. What are you doing here, he frowned. Maybe you get into trouble down here. That's why I brought along a bodyguard. This is my friend, Tallulu Chu. Mr. J nodded to her and then rubbed his chin. To Lula, you Mamie's little granddaughter? Yes, you knew Grandma? Oh, yes, good singer, he explained to me. Bunch of us used to get together and listen records of Chinese opera. Sometimes she sing. Talia finally put two and two together. Are we waiting for your grandnephew to show up? Yes, Mr. J said in a way that even shut up Talia. <coughs> We moved further back in the alley inside a dark doorway against a large corrugated iron door with no parking <coughs> painted over its front in big broad strokes. What goes on in Jack's anyway, I asked. Mr. J pushed his lips thoughtfully for a moment. <coughs> they shoot pool, play pinball, smoke cigarettes, think of how to get into more trouble, you bet. No one ever goes in before three, all no goods, asleep. Mr. J settled in, down into a squat, his back against the door. I tried it, but my legs ached where they joined my hips, so I just stood up with my back against the doorway for support. Poor Talia, though, couldn't even do that because of her new coat. She had to stand up straight. She opened her book and held it awkwardly in both hands, sighing, I hope there's something interesting to read in here. It was about an hour later before the first couple of boys sauntered down the stairs. Hey, 